first worn weather forecast from meteorologist Savannah Brito. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Happy weekend. We're starting it out kind of active with the potential of a couple stronger storms by later this morning. We're watching this line of storms develop ahead of a cold front that's sitting south of here right now. These are going to be what we have to watch as it moves in across the state line. A couple brief spin ups cannot be completely ruled out. Maybe some damaging winds. It is really going to be windy out there. We're already seeing gusts approach 40 miles per hour or so this morning. So we did receive lots of rain yesterday and overnight. A couple severe Warren storms around the area yesterday morning around three inches in the Rockford area north of that. So Beloit Janesville almost approaching four inches of rain over the last 24 hours. Southwest of Rochelle around an inch and a half. Southern DeKalb County and the Rochelle area right about an inch of rain. We are expecting a little bit more, but only scattered showers and a couple storms by later this morning. Our time framing on those severe storms that we could see later this morning, probably as early as about eight in the morning, and then we'll go about 11 11 30. That will be the case a little bit later though for Walworth and then Rock County. So our four northeastern portions of the state line or southern Wisconsin. So places like Janesville areas up in Beloit and Sharon as well. After that, an isolated chance of a shower does remain in the forecast through the rest of the morning and afternoon. Then we're going to see conditions dry out though nicely. Cloud cover also diminishing very quickly overnight. I think we'll see some blue to our skies tomorrow, but still some cloud cover out there as well. Then a change in our pattern as we head into the beginning of our work week. We are going to see more sunshine out there, but then changes as early as Tuesday. Our next chance of rain holding off until around Thursday though into the work week next week. Rain's reducing visibility out there in some areas. Galena's down to three right now. Monroe at five, Janesville at seven. The rest of us are currently up to full visibility. That is at 10 miles, but with more rain in the forecast and expected to move in, we are going to see these numbers come down. So just travel safely out there. Also very windy day. DeKalb already seeing gusts up to around 40 miles per hour. Rochelle 37, Rockford 33, Freeport 30, and Janesville 36. But we are going to see gusts potentially approach 50 to even 55 miles per hour outside of thunderstorm winds that we could see later this morning. After that, gusts are going to come down a little bit. It is going to stay breezy overnight with winds around 35 miles per hour. After that, between about 5 and 15. So a calm start to our work week. Sunshine returns, winds die down. But I do think that we are going to see very gusty day overall today. And then slightly dying down then into Sunday night and then Monday. Everyone is included in this wind advisory until 7 p.m. That's that brown color. If you are traveling closer to the city, so just east of the state line, places like Chicago are included in a high wind advisory that will be or a high wind warning that will be in effect until 7 p.m. too. So temperatures are warm right now for the most part. Places are holding up into the lower 60s, a little cooler in Monroe 59, 48 in Galena. We usually achieve our daytime high around 4 p.m. in the afternoon. This is the warmest we're pretty much going to be. I think temperatures could rise another degree or two, but then we are going to fall. So temperatures around 4 p.m. in the afternoon going to be in the mid 40s only. So it is going to be a cooler day out there especially compared to what we started November out with. 43 tonight, then we're up to 60 tomorrow. So although we are going to see some sunshine and temperatures come up, we're near normal Monday and Tuesday, warmer Wednesday and Thursday. Then for Veterans Day, we're down in the mid 40s again. So it is going to be cooler out there eventually once we're ending the work week out. And that will carry over into the weekend with 